Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2016 Volvo S60 inscription. This one is finished off in a crystal white pearl exterior. As you can see coming along the side, you do have your body colored mirrors with turn signal indicators built into them, as well as body colored door handles with intelligent entry and your chrome accenting around the windows. This is the extended wheelbase model of the S60, and I have to say, this is not just a beautiful car in person, but inside and out, the quality is fantastic, and it really overall just is a nice vehicle. Along the rear, you can see your dual exhaust down below, some chrome accenting as well as your T5 inscription badges right there. And this one is equipped with a rear backup camera. LED tail lights, of course. And your fuel cap is on the passenger side. As well as coming up over here, this one is riding on Pirelli Centurado P7 tires. They are 235, 40, R19s. So you do have the 19 inch alloy wheels on this one, rear disc brakes, of course. And these tires on this one too, very, very nice tires. Along this side, everything else follows through. Up front, you can see your projector, HID headlights, they are LED accented as well, with your daytime running lights down below. You also do have front parking sensors on this one. So we'll start it up, it does include your typical Volvo key fob, with lock, unlock. This button right here, press it, will turn your parking as well as daytime running lights on. Trunk release and panic. And on the door, as I said, this one does have intelligent entry. Just come up, grab the handle to unlock, and touch right here to lock. So we'll get inside. This one does have the soft beige leather interior and since this is an inscription it does come standard with Volvo sport seats which I have to say these seats are so comfortable and they just look fantastic. Down below your inscription door sills and to start foot on the brake and press right here. And just for the sake of the video, it isn't necessary for operation of the vehicle. I'm going to take the key and insert it right there. Inside of this S60, you do have a leather wrapped steering wheel and it is Volvo's beautiful two-tone leather wrapped wheel. Nice and tight power steering as well. Over here, you do have all of your uh, controls for the adaptive cruise control this one is equipped with, as well as your audio system controls over here. Door panel materials up top are all nice soft touch material around here. Padded leather as well, and your wood grain, which is just a very nice, clean looking, natural wood grain in this vehicle. All of your window switches, power mirrors, and power locks. Push both buttons bent down at once, and they are power folding mirrors. And one thing about the inscription, as you can see, just the little details like the window switches right here, they're just a little bit nicer than the standard S60 with the chrome accenting around them. Up here you do have your power lock controls as well, and more of the uh, aluminum accenting around here. More storage down below, and your full power driver seat with three-person memory. Over here are the headlight controls, rear fog lights, trunk, fuel cap release, and parking brake. On the dashboard itself, all soft touch material just like you would expect, but the inscription does give you a little bit more of the bright work like around here. In the middle, you can see your gauges. This one is equipped with uh, the adaptive cruise control, like I said, so you do have the extra display down there. And then once you turn it on, it will bring up all of your settings on the side. Fuel, engine temperature, your um, speedometer, as well as tachometer right in the center. Power meter and shift indicator. You can go through from right here. Go through service status, trip computer, messages, or you can change the themes between eco, obviously for more economical driving, and elegance, which is just the most simple one. Obviously, too, the center display's color scheme will change based on that. I prefer uh, performance personally, just the cleanest looking one, and you get the nice large tachometer and digital speed readout. In the middle, you do have your Harman Kardon audio system right here. This one does have the center channel. You can see your display for the census system. This one is equipped with, it is equipped with AM, FM, CD, satellite radio, all of that. You can scroll through from right here. Um, basically, all of your navigation is from this knob and then the different buttons in this vehicle. You can bring up your navigation, which this one is equipped with, obviously. Media, telephone, my car. It does have the web browser, all of the things like that. You can even bring up on here uh, your different settings. My S60, start, stop, unavailable right now, but you do have your collision warning, lane keep assist, bliss, and your driver alert, all of that. Down here as well, dual zone automatic climate control, heated seats for the driver and passenger, of course. Like I said, your lane keep, auto start stop, um, collision warning, and parking sensors. This button right here, press it, 
will bring your rear sunshade up and down. Very nice and simple operation just by the press of a button and then press right here and it will drop both of the rear seat headrests down. This one is equipped with the 8-speed automatic transmission with sport mode and manual mode to reverse. This one obviously is equipped with a rear backup camera as well as your front and rear parking sensors. Two cup holders beneath this cover and a 12 volt outlet and a very nice padded armrest. Inside is your USB and auxiliary in. As you can see, the seats in this vehicle, like I said, they are Volvo sport seats. They are so comfortable. I mean, they even over the standard S60, these are so much more comfortable. And the standard S60 has fantastic seats. They just hold you in well, and they really do look nice. Also, you do get the little nicer bits, like I mentioned in the inscription, just like the little metal pins right here and everything else. Up top is your frameless review mirror. As you can see, your compass built into the corner as well, and your Volvo City Safety System behind it. Up here, all of your interior lighting controls, passenger airbag on and off. As well as your SOS and Volvo on call. Your garage link right there. And a lighted vanity mirror. So, we'll go ahead, step out of this one. Pop the hood as well. Now, of course, the back seat coming up to it is where you'll notice the biggest difference in the inscription versus the regular S60. Just go ahead and pop the headrest back up. The inscription does include about three inches more legroom over the standard S60, which really doesn't sound like a lot until you get inside. And realize this car has a very good back seat. I mean, I'm 6'2", I intentionally left this seat further back than I would sit. I'm still nowhere close to even touching the seat. Back here, it's the same nice leather as up front and almost bucket style seats. They hold you in very well and it's just nice, high quality, exactly what you'd expect from Volvo. Over here, you have your vents built into the pillars in typical Volvo fashion, as well as it does include rear sunshades on the door, as well as your sunshade back here. Down below, more padded leather on the door and the very nice looking wood grain, your power window controls and power locks. Back seat pockets on each side, as well as right here. You can bring this down and you do have a nice padded armrest as well as two cup holders and your 12 volt outlet right there. But I just can't say enough, if you have driven a regular S60 or been in the rear of one and it wasn't for you, check out an inscription because it really does make a difference inside. Once again, the door sills down below as well. You can see the beautiful LED tail lights on this vehicle. I promise they're not flickering in person, that's just the camera. Inside of the trunk. Overall, the trunk space is about the same as the regular S60, maybe just a little bit bigger, but still, excellent amount of space. You do have a trunk pass-through and the seats are split folding. Cargo divider right here different straps, tie downs, things like that on it. And then below all of this is your inflator kit, your Conti mobility kit, as well as your jack storage, tire iron, and everything else. Of course, you do have hinges, but they go down inside of these compartments and don't interfere with your cargo, as well as up top, everything is lined. Passenger side, once again, everything follows through with the padded leather on the door, wood grain, and your sunshades up here. Your power passenger seat in this one. And inside the glove box, this one does include all of your owner's literature and everything of that nature, as well as you do have some storage and state inspection certificate. Also, typical Volvo fashion, you do have the floating center stack with some storage behind there. And up front, you can see the projector, HID headlights, LED daytime running lights below that, as well as up under the hood. It is equipped with Volvo's two liter, Drive-E turbocharged four-cylinder. 
which moves this vehicle out very well, as well as you get excellent fuel economy with this engine. Go ahead, close that. Go ahead, just cut the vehicle off right here. It will chime, reminding you to remove the key. We'll go ahead, put the headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.